welcome to our lesson for today. Mm-hmm. So, remember last time we were talking about Rehoboam yes. with an R yes. and how he is King Solomon's son and how he became king after Solomon died. Mm-hmm. And how Jeroboam with a J was sent by the people from the northern tribes mm-hmm. to go and talk to Rehoboam with an R yeah. and to ask him to be kinder than his father was, to be gentle mm-hmm. with them and to be nicer to them. To treat them better. To treat them better than his father did. Yes. But then Rehoboam with an R said, give me three, three days, days to think about it. And then after that, I will have made my decision. So yeah. now we're going to see what Rehoboam did. Okay, so as Jeroboam and the people are waiting for the response from Rehoboam, Rehoboam went ahead to seek advice from people that were around him. So first of all, he went to the old men who were in the palace who used to advise King Solomon who was Rehoboam's father. So he asked the old men, how should I respond to this question? How should I treat the people should of I Israel? Should I be more kind? Or should, should I, I be cruel? Yes. And then um, the old man told Rehoboam, you need to treat the people more kinder than your father did. Mm-hmm. You need to treat them with, more, with, with kindness and be gentle to them. And, and be nice Yes, and them. be nice to them. And when you do this, the people are going to love you and they will sub- submit to you and they will serve you. And they will be very, very loyal to mm-hmm. you. They will be loyal to you. And But Jeroboam was Rehoboam with, with an R. R. <laughs> was not um was, was not okay with that and so he was not satisfied so what he did is he went to another group of people to seek advice to the same question so he went to his age mates the people that he had grown up with so they were around the same age so he asked and these were the young men now so he asked the young men um what do you think i should i should tell these people what do what should i tell jeroboam and the people of israel should i treat them more kinder or should i continue to be harsh like my father was and the young people told him you need to be more harsh to than your father was you need to be more cruel than your father was so when you do all this when you're harsh and you're cruel they are going to fear fear you and they they will will not rebel from against against you. you And Rehoboam thought for a minute and he said, I think this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be more harsh and more cruel than my father was so that the people will fear me and so that they will know I am their king. Yes. Mm -hmm. So after he got advice from all of these people, three days were up Mm -hmm. and Jeroboam and the people who are with him came came for an answer. And then Rehoboam with an R Mm -hmm. told them, go and tell the people that I will that what my father was to them is nothing nothing compared compared to to how me. I yes. will be to them, mm-hmm. which meant that he would be harsher, harsher. he would be cruel. cruel, he would be more cruel, yes. he would be mean to the people, and the lives of the people would be harder than they were in yes. the time of Solomon. Yeah. So Rehoboam thought that if the people had this, mm-hmm. they will fear him and they will never even think about rebelling against him. Mm-hmm. But when Jeroboam with a J went and told the people what of Rehoboam what Rehoboam had, Rehoboam had said, said, the people were angry, angry. and they were upset yes. and they started shouting, down, down with Rehoboam, down, down with David's family. family. That meant they didn't want Rehoboam to be their yes, king and they anymore. did not care what was going to happen to them. They were now very tired. And they were fed up with yes. all of the things that had happened. Mm-hmm. So if Rehoboam was going to be worse, they did not want him to be their king. Yes. So instead, they wanted Jeroboam to, to, to be, be their, their king. king. But what happened was Rehoboam heard about what the people were saying and mm-hmm. how they were shouting, down, down with Jeroboam, down with David's family Mm -hmm. and how they shouted this so what he did is he sent someone to them and Mm -hmm. this man was called Adoniram so Adoniram they actually knew who Adoniram was so remember last time we talked about how Solomon Solomon would would force force people to work for him and he would never pay them Mm -hmm. so when he wanted someone to work for him Adoniram is the one he would send to go and get people Mm -hmm. and come and force them to work for Solomon so the people knew who Adoniram was and they did not like him they did not like him they hated him because he forced them to work and they would not pay them yes so when when Rehoboam Bob sent Adoniram to go and to talk to the people and to punish the people mm-hmm. for, for saying that down with Rehoboam and, and down, down with, with David's, David's family. family. Now Adoniram was sent to go and punish them. When the people saw him, they picked up stones and, and they, they threw stones him. at him and they threw stones at him until he died. Yes, so they the stoned people, him until he died because the people were very angry. Yes, they yeah. were very angry. So they stoned Adoniram until he died. Mm-hmm. And after this, 
Rehoboam actually ran away because Rehoboam was, was scared. scared. When, when, when Adoniram was killed, Rehoboam decided to run away because he thought, I am going to be the next person they are going to kill. So he, 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 he went on to his donkey and his chariots and then he ran away and he went to Jerusalem. Yes. So what happened was now the people wanted Jeroboam with a J mm-hmm. to be their king. Yes. So what happened was Jeroboam and the northern tribes, mm-hmm. he had 10 tribes yes. and all these tribes were in the north. Mm-hmm. And these are the tribes that decided to stay and have Jeroboam to As be their, their king. new king. Yes. But two tribes, that is Benjamin and Judah. Mm-hmm. So now David, remember David was from the tribe of Judah. Yes. So Benjamin and Judah remained loyal to, to David. To David's, to family. David's family. Yes. And David's family included Rehoboam, who is David's grandson. Yes. So now these two tribes decided they're going to let Rehoboam mm-hmm. continue to be their king. Yes. So now Rehoboam was king over two tribes, that's Judah and Benjamin. Mm-hmm. And together these were in the south and they became known yes. as Judah. Judah yes. And then Jeroboam with a J was king over the northern tribes. The northern ten, tribes, those were yes. ten tribes. And those ones remained to be called Israel. Mm-hmm. So from this, we la- remember the prophecy we said that God had said that he would, uh, when the prophet tore up his, his, his clock, in 12 pieces and then he said 10 tribes would be given to Jeroboam and two tribes would remain so when this happened it fulfilled the prophecy that God had spoken so this tells us that when God says something he he surely follows it to make it come to pass yes when God says something Mm -hmm. it will always always come true yes and then the other thing we learn from this is that you need to know which voice you listen to so remember um Rehoboam Seek, seek, uh, uh, sought, sought advice, advice from, from the older old people, men, and, and then the, he also sought advice from, from the, the younger men. men. And the older men gave him good advice, mm-hmm. and the younger men gave him advice that would cause fear. Yes, and he chose the one that caused fear. Mm-hmm. So you need to be very, very careful which voice you, you listen, listen to. And to. a lot of times, the voice that we're supposed to listen to is, is the, the voice of, of God. God. Yes, because we are children of God. So now we are going to stand up and sing our song. So let's all stand up and sing this. Okay, kids, so we've just learned about how Jeroboam was trying to make his decision so he can give an answer to Jeroboam and how he listened to all of these other voices and how he listened to the wrong voice when he was making his choice. So now, us as children of God, we should always listen to God's voice because God's voice is always the right voice. And everyone stand up and help us sing this song about listening to God's, to God's voice all the time.
So it's time for us to do our craft. Yeah. Now, we've just talked about how the kingdom of Israel was actually split in two. And the prophecy that God had given to Ahijah, who gave it to Jeroboam, mm-hmm. now had come true. Yeah. So now Jeroboam had ten tribes. And Rehoboam remained with two tribes. Yeah. So now we're going to make envelopes that will, that will say the king of Israel. Israel and that's Jeroboam yes. and the king of Judah and that's Rehoboam, Rehoboam and we'll put each of the we'll put the tribes each of the tribes into the envelope so yeah. we can always remember that the kingdom was split because Rehoboam decided to be wicked and cruel mm-hmm. and because God had prophesied that this is what was going to happen, to happen yes. so what we have here is we have different colors of mandala paper all in different sizes mm-hmm. so for our tribes we cut yellow mandala paper and this yeah. is where we're going to write our tribes down yes. for our envelopes we have pink and then now our paper, the way we're going to write what our lesson is, we have it in blue. Okay, so let's start. First thing I want you to do is I want you to staple your envelopes onto your blue paper. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to staple on the side. First of all, make sure they're all in the center. I'm going to staple on one side. Then close to the top. Then in the middle of those two. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the down part. And also at the bottom. So for the bottom, I'm going to need to fold this. Make sure you don't staple it when you fold it. And make sure there's no hole, so there's no space for your tribes to fall out. Yeah. Oops. I stapled my tribe. I'm sorry. I stapled my paper. Okay. So be careful not to staple your paper. Okay. Then now we have our envelope. The first one. So the same thing to the bottom one. Because remember, the tribes of Israel, when they split, there were the northern tribes. And those ones went to Jeroboam. Mm-hmm. And then there were the southern tribes. And those ones went to Rehoboam. Yeah. So the same thing at the bottom. Make sure there's no space so that your tribes don't fall out. And I ran out of staples. Yeah. and in the center okay so now that we have our envelopes created so now there's space in the middle where we'll put our tribes mm-hmm. so i want you to take your pen whatever color pen you want or you have and i want you to write down so on the northern one the one on top that's in the north mm-hmm. we write king jeroboam with a j King Jeroboam and he is the king of Israel because remember in the north they kept the name Israel so King Jeroboam king of Israel and here we're going to put the northern tribes because the north was for Jeroboam Okay, so then in the south, the one at the bottom, right, King Rehoboam. King of Judah, because they decided that they will be called Judah in the south. King of Judah. The south tribes, southern tribes. Okay, now another important thing we need to do is we need to get these tribes down. So we remember what tribes belonged to Jeroboam and Jeroboam was their king and which ones belonged to Rehoboam. So for Jeroboam, he had 10 of them. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
and for Rehoboam he had two. So now we need to write down these mm -hmm. tribes, who they were. And then we'll put our tribes into the envelope. So we always remember Jeroboam got 10 tribes, Rehoboam got two, two tribes, tribes, and this is what God had said would happen. Yes. So let's start with Rehoboam, because I know he has le he has two tribes, so they're less. So Rehoboam, the tribes that stayed with Rehoboam and remained loyal to David's family were Judah and Benjamin. That's what we write on our two, it says Judah and Benjamin. Benjamin yes. And then you're going to take your two tribes and you're going to put them inside your envelope. Yes. Make sure they go all the way to the, the bottom. Envelope with Rehoboam on top. Yes, with Rehoboam on top. Yes. Now let's go to Jeroboam. So Jeroboam had Reuben. Reuben. He had Reuben. He had Simeon. He had Manasseh. Long name. He had Dan. He had Naphtali. He had God, then Asha, then another long name, Issachar, <laughs> and then Zebulam. and then Ephraim. Ephraim. So make sure you have all the 10 names. All the 10 names. Did not just check which one you missed out because they have to be 10. Okay. Yeah. And now we take each of these and we put them into Inside our the envelope. envelope of King Jeroboam. Put them all inside the envelope for King Jeroboam because Jeroboam was king of all of these tribes. Wow. And many. I don't know That's if we've looked fat. <laughs> Okay, then at the top, I want you to do one last thing and I want you to write where this lesson is from and what it is that we're talking about. Yes. So, we're talking about Israel is divided. So at the top, I want you to write the kingdom of Israel. Is divided. Because that's exactly what happened. It was divided into two. Yes. Jeroboam had one and Rehoboam, Rehoboam had, had the other. other. So the kingdom of Israel is divided and this is found in First Kings. Chapter 11. So in 1 Kings 11, we learn the story of how the kingdoms were divided. And our lesson for today is about how when God says something, it will always happen. Yes. And you need to be careful whose voice you listen to. Mm -hmm. Yes. You should always listen to the voice of God. The voice of God, because everything that God says, he surely makes it come to pass. And that is how the kingdom of Israel was divided. And Jeroboam got the larger part with 10 tribes. And then Rehoboam was left with only two tribes for him to run. So that's our lesson today. That's our craft today. Until next time. Bye. Bye.